Hello, this is that guy coming from www.wizzyworld.com to show you how to make a very basic map on Valve Hammer. Okay, we're going to start by making a box that's about 1000 by 24, 1000 by 24, and I know it sounds like a pretty large box, but I'm going to be using it for all my later tutorials. So after you have your box, you can right click and go to create object. Now we're going to be inside of the box while we're playing because this will be our map. We're going to want to make it hollow. So we're going to select it, right click, and go down to make hollow. You can use 8 or 16, I prefer 8. So now we have a hollow box. And to see that, I'm going to go to camera, click, and as you can see, this is the inside of our box. It's a very beautiful box. Okay. And now that we have our box, we're going to want to add some spawns. So we're going to go to the entity tool, click, right click, and go to create object. Okay, he's pretty high up there, so I'm going to move him down a little bit by selecting him. Pull him down. Now he's only supposed to be a couple inches off the ground, so you can add or subtract grid lines by clicking the box keys, and that'll help with that. Okay, now that we have our terrace spawn, I'm going to right click, go to properties, turn them about 50 degrees. Okay, now he should be facing, the red line shows where he's facing, he's facing about this corner right over here. Okay, and that's where I want him to face. So after that I have that, I'm going to want a couple of these spawns, and then go to copy, and paste. Move them over. Put them a couple inches off the ground, and now I have two T spawns, each facing the direction I want them to face. Okay, now that we have the max amount of players of two on the terrorist team, we're going to go and make some counter terrorists. So we're going to go over to the other side, right click, go to paste, and we have a T spawn over here now. And I know that's not right, but we're going to right click and go to properties. Instead of having info player terrorist, we're going to scroll up to info player counter terrorist. Click on that, and let's turn them about 230 degrees. Okay, now he is facing about the other corner. Since we have him, I'm going to right click, go to copy, I'm going to paste. Put them both in the corner. And now we have two counter terrorists facing the T, the terror set. Okay, and since we're in a box, we're going to need a light. Or a couple, since this is a big box. So I'm going to go up here, click on the entity tool, click, right click, create object, and there he is. Since it's already selected, we're going to right click, go down to properties. The info player terrorist, we're going to scroll down to light, apply, and then we can copy it, paste it over here. If I can move it, there we go. And now we have two lights, right? About halfway up there. That should be enough to create light in this box. And after you've finished this map, then you can go up. Well, you can click F9, but since that's a hotkey for my recorder, go to File, Run Map, uh, let's name the map Wizzy World. As you see, I already have one. Okay, let's save it. I'm going to overwrite. Okay, now you want all these to be on normal, and you want this to be don't run, and you want it to be on don't run the game after compiling. I don't like it. So, okay, and after it's done compiling, which it takes a second or two, so we're going to wait for that. Okay, it's done compiling. It should say copy to clipboard when it's done. You can exit out of it, and that should conclude your map. So this is the end of my first tutorial, and I will be making other ones soon on different sections of Valve Hammer. Thank you for watching this tutorial.